cold zones, how to work in a sanitary manner, how to make sure that you don't cross-contaminate your work area or your equipment. And I'll show you why you want everything moving in one direction. You want everything to go in one direction and you never want to go back the opposite direction. And I will explain that. So the first thing we're going to do is set up our station. So once you set up your tattoo area, you want to get rid of everything that you're not using in this area. You're done with the scissors and you're done with your stencil paper, then take it out of that area and put it where it belongs. Cross-contamination happens when I get material on my hands or something else and let's say I touch an object and then that material is transferred to this object and then when I use this or somebody else uses it they get contaminated by whatever materials were left on the tool or the equipment. So you want to avoid that at all costs. You want to make sure that everything is covered up and anything that doesn't belong in your station, anything that you don't absolutely need while you're tattooing gets removed from your station. So don't leave your rubbing alcohol, don't leave scissors, and I'll show you a pet peeve of mine, never leave the roll of paper towels at your station. And I'll show you what to do to make sure that you keep your paper towels from getting contaminated. This is a bad idea for a tattoo station, so don't use these. So what you can do, you have baby wipes and your paper towels, is you just want to pull out as many as you're going to use. And then you want to put the container away. with the paper towels what you're going to do is the same thing you're going to rip off a number of paper towels that you think you might need and you're going to leave them at your station then you're going to take the roll of paper towels and you're going to remove it and cover it up and you're going to put that away somewhere where it's not going to get anything on it Another thing you don't want to do is once you've filled up your ink what you don't want to do is leave your ink at your station because you're thinking to yourself, well, during the tattoo, I might have to come in and put more ink in here. If you do that, you have a chance of contaminating this whole bottle of ink if you come back in and refill a used ink cup. So don't do that. Another thing they say to do is to drip your ink into the cup 
so that somehow the stream of ink won't suck up anything back into the bottle. So that's another thing you can try to do to prevent your bottle of ink from being contaminated. So don't bag this up and leave it here. Don't leave it here. Just take this and put it away. And what's going to happen is if you need more ink, you can take off your gloves, go wash your hands, get some ink, and then bring it to your station. Don't bring this container into a dirty area. As soon as you penetrate somebody's skin, you've created an opening in someone's skin, this whole area is considered a hot zone. And you need to treat it that way. So during that time, there's a higher risk of contamination getting spread to other areas of the tattoo shop and a higher risk of cross-contamination. So you want to prevent bringing anything into that area or taking anything out of that area. So, even before you start anything, first thing you should do is put on some gloves. Now, you've seen these at a lot of tattoo shops. And what this is, is this is set up right next to my tattoo station. But everything here is covered. Everything up top is covered. And you can see, once I was done with my baby wipes, they went back in here and got covered up. So you should do the same thing with your paper towels. They should be covered up so that no contaminants can get onto anything while you're tattooing. You see, I'm, this is what they call a Lazy Susan. You can buy one of these. Uh, I made this one myself. It makes it a lot easier for tattoo setup. You know, if I need my ink caps, I need to apply some Vaseline. Everything is set up right here and covered up so it can't get contaminated. So you can see that anything that is in the hot zone gets a baggie on it. Your machine gets baggy, your power source gets saran wrapped, your green soap gets a baggy. Anything you are leaving in this area that you are going to reuse gets a baggie on it. Now, I explained to you that everything should go in one direction almost like a circle. Now, everything is prepped. You get everything ready. This is still the cold zone. This means there's no contaminated materials in this area. You get your supplies from here and they go here. Now, once you break the skin, once you start tattooing on somebody, the only place that this stuff should go is this direction, over to where it can be cleaned and disposed of. So once something's been in this area, it will only go one direction. The only direction it should go is over here to where it can be cleaned. And it will never go back to this direction until it has been cleaned. So let me show you how this should work. You 
get your supplies and you set everything up and you put away everything you're not using once you've started tattooing everything goes to the cleaning area now after everything is cleaned it will go back to the storage area or back to the prep area so this is what you have prep area tattoo area cleanup storage and then back to the prep area never are you going to go from your tattoo area back to the prep area this should never happen if this tattoo machine is not cleaned or this green soap is not clean you should never put it back over here because you have just contaminated everything in that area right there once you're done with your tattoo machine it should never go back in here tattoo machine should go over here to get cleaned and the only way it's going to make it back to where the machines are is if it gets cleaned if you have a closet your paper towels should be bagged up and put in your closet that way you have a door and a bag protecting your paper towels from getting contaminated if you have a toolbox once your machines are clean they can go back in the toolbox and then when you're ready to use them they go back around to this area let's say you're tattooing on somebody and this is what always happens somebody's gonna walk over and check out your tattoo or what you're doing and they're gonna take whatever gunk was on them and they're gonna walk into your area and they're gonna touch things and then they're gonna walk around one of the things you want to do is make sure that your client doesn't get up a whole bunch of times and walk around touching a bunch of stuff and you want to make sure people don't come into your area and touch anything you really just want yourself and your client in the area you're tattooing it's less foot traffic you're gonna get less chance of contaminating things and they say whenever you walk into an area you always leave something behind so you want to make sure people don't walk into your area while you're tattooing